From the moment I downloaded Blender, I knew I wanted to use it as a tool to create my dreams. At the start, I was not even close to good enough to create something without watching 100 tutorials first. You guys might be in a similar position. One skill, one trait, one dream you want to achieve. But you don't know how to get there. Day one, I knew nothing. Watched the tutorial for 15 minutes, then gave up. Day two, tried again for a little longer. Got to the third Blender Donut tutorial, gave up. I still wanted to create epic pieces of art with just my imagination. I just wasn't ready to put in that effort. So I broke it up. Day by day, spending little bits of time on it each day, following more and more tutorials. If all my free time I'm watching a tutorial, why not follow along? So I did, and I learned, which of course got me more excited to learn more. You have a goal, a trait, a skill you want. One thing, one task a day will guarantee, eventually, you succeed. Three and a half years later, it's my birthday. I got a game, Red Dead Redemption 2, and it is beautiful. I had to capture that somehow. I researched and searched for weeks, reference after reference, idea after idea, and I stumbled upon something simplistic, yet fantastic. And my vision came alive. One of the first times I had a clear picture of exactly what I wanted my final render to look like. Without wasting any time, I opened up Blender and blocked on my scene, solidifying that idea in my head before it's going. Here's what it looked like. No Picasso, but it kept me motivated. Every render I try and challenge myself to learn something new. For this project, I was learning how to make snow. How's that even possible in Blender? Fortunately, I had an amazing tutorial by Blender Guru to help me. This is gonna take a bit. What time is it? Oh yeah, it's fully go time. This isn't real snow. Well, all of you sleeps to the computer. No, I mean the way it was made. This is snow, and these are snow tracks. But in Blender, I can't just dump a bunch of snow on the ground and then walk through it. I have to use this neat trick called vertex displacement. This is a plane. This is a face, this is an edge, and this is a vertex. Or in school, they call it a point. Now imagine you had a blanket with a grid on it, and each point on that grid had a poker chip representing our vertices. Now imagine each one of those poker chips could fly, but only up and down. Just like the folds in our unmade bed or the crumpled up birthing napkins from our party that no one went to, they have some points that are higher, and some points that are lower. Or how I like to think of it, peaks of hope, and valleys of despair. Just like my life. Red Dead uses this same trick to create their snow, but instead of poker chips, they use a fancy image called a depth map. White areas meaning higher peaks, and black areas meaning lower valleys. Now that we're all basically professional game developers, let's get back into it. Time to draw. By simply marking out the areas that I want to be lower, I create myself a depth map. As with anything, the more time you spend on it, the better your results. Step two, the path. By far the hardest part. What does a dirt path even look like? Well, reference my best friend. Looking at some photos, it's the same as the snow, just less fluff. Slap a dirt texture on there along with a simple fade into the snow texture and you got yourself a landscape. It's still missing something though. I looked some more photos and noticed little strands of grass forming around the edges of the path even through the snow. So I added those in. Step 3. Trees. Let's just download a 3D model. Wait. I couldn't find a single 3D model of a tree with snow on it. Of course I found over a hundred oak trees though. That ain't an oak tree. Guess I had to make my own. After days searching for the perfect tree, I came across the closest thing I could find. Add some snow on it, and then called it a day. The sky. The sky was simple yet never looked right. I went through many variations until I settled on something just right. Using Photoshop's AI generation tool, I could remove the clouds from a certain area. The horse stable. This isn't Red Dead Redemption without some horses. Thankfully, I found a perfect 3D model with textures included in all by this guy. Check him out. It was missing some snow though, so I added it in using Blender Snow app. So much better. Snowflakes. Grabbing a picture of a snowflake and putting it on a plane, I could replicate real snowfall, making this render look a lot more realistic. I can never disrespect my boy. The market by modeling it myself. I had to get a professional one. 
It must have been my lucky day or something, because I found so many free 3D models online. Popped him in along with his horse, and it's on to final touches. Add a couple lamps in the stable, and edited my final render in Photoshop. This journey has been a long few weeks, with multiple obstacles along the way. However, I knew if I just added a little bit each day, I'd get it done. Dreams are funny like that. If they're not big enough, you won't achieve anything. If they're too big, it's seen as impossible. But it's not what the dream is or how big it is. It's whether you get it done and whether you make a new one after. Stick around, because just like some of you guys, the dreaming just begun.